Yeah. All right, we're almost there. We're going through the tunnel, baby. The tunnel for the rest of our lives. Okay. All right. I just arrived at Vistech. I ordered this camera. I've been doing a lot of research for a long time. I finally decided I would like to purchase the Sigma FP as my first cinema camera. I had a special order and it took months and it finally arrived and I'm going to pick it up. Come on. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. I'm actually very excited for this. Let's take a look. Okay. Wow, look at that. Two flaps. You don't get that. You don't get that in every box. Okay, we've got a collection of boxes. It's like a ring, focus ring thing. I don't really know what it is, to be honest. Oh, this is our lens. It's got some weight to it. The Sigma 45 millimeter, made in Japan. This camera is both the most expensive camera I've ever owned and the most expensive lens, so that's cool. I've worked with more expensive lenses, but they were always rentals. <laughs> okay, cool. Is this the camera? It's not. Okay, I want to do the camera last, so. USB to USB-C cable. Little uh, screw hole attachments. That's, it looks like to attach a uh, strap. A plug-in adapter. A battery. Sigma battery pack BP51. A Sigma branded camera strap. Oh. Uh, there's a hot shoe mount here. Okay, we'll figure that out. And now the main event. Oh wait. Almost the main event. There's a skinny box. Documentation, Sigma America warranty. To our valued customer. That's me. Sigma FP user's manual. Cool. Okay, now it's time for the main event. Oh. <laughs> there it is. My first time ever holding the Sigma FP. engraving on the side like a little texture I guess this is venting we got this all the way around the all the way along here I guess it's yeah to vent out heat I guess on the top you got your switch to go from cines to stills power button record wheel here selection wheel I like the texture matte type finish This is it. This is the beginning. So much the way, you know, expectant parents go out and buy like all the baby accessories they're gonna have, I kind of did the same thing. So I picked up some items in anticipation for this guy. Let's see, we got a portable SSD. We've got this cage. I guess this guy pops in here like this type of thing. This is a little awkward to do on camera, but still. I want you guys to experience this with me. All right, so it attaches two points. It's not gonna go anywhere. I also got this small rig SSD mount. Oh no, sorry, this one's, this is magic rig. The small rig one was more expensive and I preferred this one. 
And then I also got this small rig NATO rail handle. Small rig, big dream. Let's slide this on here. Tighten it up. Okay, this guy could then go, I guess here is fine for now, I don't know. on there. I feel so nervous touching everything. I think this is right. Yeah. This thing can be adjusted. So you can plug it in and then you can tighten it onto the mount. Tighten it and then I guess this just pops in here. Boom. What is this? Is it a hood? Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a little lens hood. Cute! I'm so pumped. Look at this bad boy. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, I just, I just hold it like this, look at that. And get some nice stable, stable shots with my, with my handle. I'm so nervous, I'm gonna drop it. My gosh. <sighs> okay, so I've traveled down to the historic distillery district here in Toronto. There are some nice old looking and dare I say cinematic buildings around. They actually filmed part of the first X-Men movie here. Uh, the scene in the concentration camp. The chimney's right there. Spooky. Anyways, I spared no expense on my, uh, my brand new cinema camera. Traveled in my trusty uh, reusable shopping bag. And if you're a little concerned about its safety, don't worry. I packed it inside a, a toque, so nothing could go wrong here. There she is. I have my trusty gimbal that I've shot with for many years. The eye can beholder. Pretty cheap too, I got it used. Anyways, let me mount this thing on and then, uh, I don't know. I mean, I've never shot on 12-bit 4K cinema DNG before, so that'll be fun. And I'll just walk around and see what we can get. And we'll see what, we, what it looks like. Just sitting here balancing a camera as you do. And not succeeding. Honestly, I feel like it's close enough. Let's see. Power on. Hmm. Okay, so I don't know. I haven't decided what I'm gonna shoot. I guess I'll just walk around, get some shots, and uh see what it can do. I'll just play around. I'll just play around. Okay? 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 Okay?
Okay, I'm tired. Ugh, my back kind of hurts. Okay, well, I'm curious to see how those turn out. You guys have now seen it before I have because uh, I just shot it, but you guys have seen it after I've already graded it and messed around with it, so that's cool. But from what I can see in the viewfinder, the picture is pretty great. It's nice and crisp. And obviously I've got a lot to learn. I've never graded on Cinema DNG RAW before, but I feel like I'm gonna find myself being able to do things that I've never been able to do before. I was basically figuring out the camera as I was showing it to you. This is literally my first time using it. I kind of just stayed in the quick settings menu and you know, messed around with things here and there. I can definitely see that I'm gonna need a variable ND filter though, especially in weather like this, it gets blown out pretty quickly. So gonna have to look into that. But uh, I'm excited, people. I'm excited. So we now have the base, the beginning of what will eventually be my cinema rig, the Sigma FP. I'm gonna keep tweaking the setup and see where the best place for the hard drive is. Obviously, it's all gonna change as I add more pieces of equipment. So I'll keep updating you guys as I add parts, as I add more things to it. So I'm excited to see where this goes. But here it is, people. The Sigma FP, this is my review it's kind of a review anyways people smash the like button hit the subscribe button if you're new lots more coming down the line we're gonna build this baby out we're gonna make it awesome and then we're gonna make a film i'm scott Dion brown happy shooting kiss 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 kiss